Hey guys, I am Kors. So in this video I will show you how to make my truck beat up pop. So this truck is special because uh, it's my first truck ever on Reaper Recordings. So in this video you can use uh, about using production, mixing, mastering, and yeah. Enjoy the video and hope you like it. This is my kit. This kit have a lot of punch and a fairly nice body. So, which is what I'm looking for to track. I always start my projects with the drums, especially when the kit. Okay, for the processing, it's have nothing special. It's have an EQ boosting the high frequencies around 13,000 Hz. And put a utility for pack the frequencies and 140 in mono. So my kick sounds like this. So um, it's all on my kick. So let's move to the sub base. Okay. For the sub, it's the same preset of the base. Uh, this is the preset and song of the base. Now I will show you all my drums. So I put these drums, a couple of loops and samples from Splice. Um, all my drums sounds like this. I will show you now how my lead sounds. So the lead sounds like this. The main lead is this. This is this song is uh, is no serum. Is uh, it's a kind of siren from Splice. Uh, for the vocal section, I use have two elements. So it's the first vocal with, but the vocal sounds different and the second element. Just for more, for make more interesting this track. So the vocal sounds like this. For the breakdown, uh, you have three elements. So I will show you the breakdown and effects together because it's a complement of the breakdown. So in the breakdown, the first element is a base shot. Have a lot of river. Um, and EQ use cap a little bit of the low frequencies. This is a sample from Splice, I think.
The right song is this. So here's I put this on the right now, the right, the right K of my track. So sounds like that. Um, the second element of the right song is this disco song, I think. Automate the river, the river for the second breakdown. So this are my track. Um, this is my master chain. Let me off this. So I I always use this spectrum analyzer for my my track when I mix when I producing um, when I'm mastering. I always have this analysis spectrum on all my tracks. It's more easy and um, you can see how your track sounds and how your mix sounds, how those elements your pop in this track sounds. So the track we have mastering sounds like this.